Underwater photography is regarded as one of the most difficult parts of photography. As a newbie, this can be a steep learning curve. To help you, we have composed a list of three tips to make your next underwater photo look great. We took some screen grabs from our old movies to show you what's not good. And we took some pictures of top underwater photographers to see what is good. So you can see the difference. Before we dive into the tips, consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos weekly. The number one common mistake people make when they first take their brand new underwater camera underwater is that they photograph everything top down. So you see something, you're diving and you just shoot way down. There are two problems with it. First, it makes your image look very flat and secondly, your background is very cluttered. So what you should do is get on the same level as your subject, but there is a moral code if there is no chance of getting the subject in frame without damaging the reef, you should pass on it and look for something else, no matter how good the photo is gonna turn out. Number two is get closer. Sometimes you're diving and you just love the scenery that much that you snap a photo of it. Typically, these aren't the best photos to start with because the light is really bad. Your photo turns out green or blue depending on the water you're diving in actually need big lights or big strobes to make this happen a better way to get great photos when you're just starting out without buying expensive strobes is getting in close get close to your subject and make a close-up of a fish or a piece of coral you really like colors are correct and you just get a better picture the next tip is all about how you frame your image uh, first of all these are not rules but are guidelines and more often than once the photo which is breaking the rules is the best one nonetheless they are backed up by science and they more often than not make a compelling image first rule is the rule of thirds this is also the most well known in photography um, and it looks like this if you look on the image you can see the truck is on the left hand corner right at the intersection of two lines and these are the places where you want your subject to be if you follow this rule next up is framing your image and this can be done with several things mostly natural things on the water like on this picture you can see the grass and the ocean is actually framing the shark and uh, making it pop a little bit more next up is using leading lines these are lines which draw the eye into the image um, if you look at this image you can see the bridge is drawing your eye into the truck those are the leading lines in this image lastly we have the golden spiral and this sounds really exotic and it kind of is if you overlay this over your photo like this one you can see that it perfectly follows the orca and it isn't really the orca which makes this image great it's really the composition the links to the photographers from which we use the photos are down below and follow them because they make great photos and you can learn so much from them. 